Hello friends. Welcome to my channel for Medicos. This video contains information of Besset's disease which is also known as Besset's syndrome. Before starting, I will request you to subscribe, share and hit the bell icon for more such videos. What is Besset's disease or Besset's syndrome? It is an inflammatory disease of unknown cause. Characterized by recurrent aphthous ulceration in the mouth, genital ulcers, uveitis, and skin lesions. The uveitis tends to recur and leads to blindness, whereas the other manifestations are self-limiting. Pathologically, it is a recurrent acute inflammatory disease rather than a chronic inflammatory process. It is an autoimmune vasculitis, linked to HLA-B5 and HLA-DR5. Persons with HLA-B1 have a strong predilection to develop Besset's disease. Incidence is 1 in 10,000 to 1 in 500,000. This disease is present in India rarely and it may masquerade as other multi-system diseases. The basic pathophysiological process is small vessel vasculitis, autoimmune responses, and hyperfunction of neutrophils. The neutrophils are overactive with increased lysosome production and chemotaxis. Clinically this can be demonstrated by the pathergy tests in which a needle prick area is infiltrated by neutrophils to produce a visible papule or pustule seen at 48 hours. Lymphocyte function is also abnormal. Clinical features Recurrent aphthous ulcers Patients have recurrent aphthous ulcers which are 2 to 10 mm in size, painful, shallow or deep with central necrotic material, occurring singly or in crops which can be located anywhere in the oral cavity. Genital ulcers Resemble oral ones. Vaginal ulcers are painless. Genital ulcer does not affect glands penis and urethra. Skin involvement is in the form of erythema nodosum, pseudofolliculitis, or folliculitis, papular pustular or acniform lesions, and vasculitis. Ocular lesions. Involvement of eyes may be in the form of posterior uveitis, iritis, retinal vessel occlusion and optic neuritis. Vascular manifestations. Patients can have superficial and deep vein thrombosis, and superior vena cava obstruction. Neurological manifestations include meningitis, meningoencephalitis, motor disturbances, brainstem symptoms, benign intracranial tension, multiple sclerosis-like picture, pyramidal signs, and psychiatric disturbances. Pulmonary manifestations. Pulmonary artery vasculitis presents with dysponia, cough, chest pain, hemoptysis, and infiltrates on chest x-rays. Joint lesions. Mono or polyarthritis, major joints are affected. The arthritis is not deforming and affects the knees and ankles. Gastrointestinal features include recurrent oral ulcerations. Abdominal pain, hematemesis, melina, and perforation of viscera. Diagnostic criteria. Diagnosis is almost certain if in addition to oral ulceration, any two of the following criteria are present. 1. Genital ulcers. 2. Skin lesions. 3. Eye lesions and. 4. Pathergy test. Investigations will show. Elevated erythrocyte sedimentation rate. Elevated C-reactive protein. Antibodies to oral mucosa and. Pathergy test showing abnormal inflammatory response to scratch or intradermal saline administration, which is not seen in normal individuals. Treatment Mainstay of treatment is corticosteroids. Immunosuppressants such as azathioprine and cyclosporin and cytotoxic drugs such as cyclophosphamide and chlorbucil are required in cases resistant to corticosteroids. In intractable cases interferon alpha is being used with success. Arteritis is treated with a combination of corticosteroids and immunosuppressants. Thrombotic complications are treated with anticoagulants and antiplatelet drugs. For mouth ulcers, 
Topical steroids as paste or mouthwash can be used. Analgesics are used for arthritis. Ocular lesions are treated with local corticosteroid drops and colchicine orally. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe.